Hey, greetings and salutations all. Thad Go with Thad Go Sports doing a quick product review. I recently purchased a Louisville Slugger Prime Rigged Bag. Um, pretty stoked. I've been using Dean Marini for a long time. Love that bag, but it's time for something new. This bag, this bag is supposed to hold a lot more stuff. I'll show you, like in my old Dean Marini bag, I got a bat in this long pocket. Which is a Jeff Hall. Um, I got my glove. Ow, a tripod. And four bats. Uh, I do have a shelf in my bag, which makes it nice. A little stand. Uh, my new one does not have a bag or have a shelf. See, another one. Uh, I went with the, the pink and silver one because they called it a Jeff Hall bag on the website. And as you can see, I'm a fan of Jeff Hall. I got several of his bats. So I already had two bats here. So I got a total of however many bats. So I have five. I got seven bats here. I'm going to get seven bats in this bag, I'm hoping. Down in here, oh, I got a bat weight in a small box. Uh, big, the middle the part, middle section of my Dean Marini bag, I just have room for my pitching helmet. That's about it. And then in the bottom pocket, I got my clod hopper cleats. Clod hoppers on a brand, this is what my grandma used to call it, our big feet. I wear a size 13. With the, with that, without the shelf, they fit in here great. With the shelf, it's a bit of a squeeze. So I got. So I took out four bats, a glove, bat on the side, long pocket. Uh, my other pocket just holds batting gloves. Uh, and a couple other little things. Go ahead and see down here. I got a side pocket that I keep my GoPro in and some other accessories. Got a bunch of these knob cuffs that people seem to like. So that's everything out of my Dean Marini bag. So I got five bats and a pitching helmet. This is my new Louisville bag. I put in the temporary shelves like these came with. See, I'll open it up. Show you all the inside nice and big should have plenty of room to hold everything uh, I'm hoping to get my shin guards in the bottom my glove on this shelf maybe so let's see let's start loading up bats 19 Jeff Hall I like to face these out weird like that 18 Jeff Hall they all match the colors of this bag. It's fabulous. Here. I got a 20 haul. It's an 18, 19, and 20 of the Jeff Halls. Pardon me. Just busted ass. Had a late breakfast. Alright. Then we're going to go with my Genesis next. Love this bat. I don't swing it as much because now out of, out of warranty and I can't get it replaced so I've been saving it just for gaming okay so I got four bats in there now there's these huge side pockets here on the Louisville bat I'm probably blocking it with my big body so we'll put one bat two bats And it's going to zip up with these in here is what it claims. So we'll, we'll see. It's a little tight at first. I don't want to force it. Brand new bag, but these side pockets are made to put bats in. Just make sure I don't get anything in the way. Uh, I feel there's a little padding down in there. I could probably get a third bat in here. 
like if it was a small leveling bat or something. Maybe not a full 30. Yeah. So got those in there. Like I said, I'm not going to stre stretch it right now. Uh, the other side, same thing. I'm going to put my Louisville in. And I'm going to grab another bat. My old Sunday Spiger. Love this bat. It zips up, holding those. six eight bats which if I left it unzipped I could easily fit another two um, this is what I'm really stoked about right here be able to carry my shin guards in the bag I'm put these in here I may have to lose this middle shelf but that's okay if it'll hold all my stuff uh, there's inside pockets too inside Side these and I think I saw some oh there's the inside zippers right here to pack it so I'm gonna put my batting gloves in here good old 3a batting gloves love them so these go in here like this I can zip it um, Let's see what else am I I don't want to get my shin guards in. I'm gonna lump them together. Knock this shelf down real quick. Look, they're gonna go right in here perfectly. I'm gonna try and get there's a built-in shoe bag at the bottom. That's gonna hold my big ass please. And I got room to put in my pitching helmet. I'm super stoked by that. I'm gonna pull these forward and put my shin guards inside my helmet a little. Maybe not. But look, it'll hold them. Holds it all. So yeah, I got a bat weight. I like to use this when I'm warming up. So Sometimes so we'll throw it in here. Fits in there good. I'm gonna lay this down for a second so I can put my cleats in. Show you all what I think. Cleats go in the very bottom compartment right here. This is ventilated, which is nice. So again, I wear size 13 cleats. Cleats. This bag's a little. A little crunched up from being in the box that just shipped from Florida. But look, these went in here no problem. Size 13 please. <coughs> I could probably slip my turfs in there too. These bags are no joke, man. They're big. Hold a lot of stuff. So, put my glove up here like I always do. I like keeping it right there. Uh, See, there's a lot of room in here, man. Whole lot of room. What else I got? My GoPro. Which can easily just, I'll toss on this top shelf for now. But it'll easily fit in one of the internal pockets. A couple of knob cuffs that people love. I'm not in love with them myself. But to each his own. So, this is it. Louisville Slugger Prime Bag. 99 bucks on the website right now. Best deal. A little pocket for your wallet. Side by side comparison, real quick.
Here's my old bag. Has a shelf. It fit four bats with one down the long pocket. So a total of five bats. I could wedge my glove in here. In the middle compartment, I had just enough room for my pitching helmet. Bottom, tight squeeze, but I could get my cleats in there. This bag, I got eight bats in it right now. Holds my bag, shin guards, cleats, and pitching helmet. It has plenty of room for other stuff. All in all, great deal. If you get a chance, buy one. I believe they still have this color available. The other one might be sold out. Have a good day. Bye.